What was the first line of cocaine like? What is it like doing that first line of cocaine? I used to do one to two eight balls of coke a day. And that first line of cocaine is what you almost lived for when you woke up, especially if you're in active addiction and obsessed with the drug like I was. So this is what doing the first line of cocaine was like uh, to me and, and to my system. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm none of that. My name is Eric and I am diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD. Those are my diagnoses. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I'm a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict. I've attempted suicide, I've self-harm before. I've been through a lot and I like to share my experiences just as testimony to anybody who's going through life right now wondering if it gets better, how to work through it. I, I know that so much of it is sharing our experiences so that you don't feel alone and that you, you fight the good fight. Uh, what is it like doing that first line of cocaine? So, I mean, I would wake up and I was a functioning alcoholic and I was a functioning cocaine addict. I, I did, had a very successful job. If you're doing as much cocaine as I was doing, you're either very successful and you can hide it um, until you can't hide it anymore and then everything grenades or you're robbing places. I Luckily, I had a very successful job until I lost it due to my addiction. Um, I would wake up at about 6.30 and my brain was all on, on coke. My brain was on coke. And that's what I wanted to do. So I would finally get to work and I would lay out my first line of coke. And if you're doing one to two eight balls of coke a day, you know that lines aren't the little lines. I mean, my lines would be about this big. Um, and I would be sitting in my car and I would just bust out. I usually would have... Um, so usually I, I kept a long time a CD case with me, or I would end up just laying it out on credit cards, um, or I ended up having plates with me and I would just lay, literally lay it out. I didn't fucking care because I was that obsessed with this drug and I would just do that first line. And as soon as I would do that first line, this is exactly what happened. I would feel it going down my nose. I'd feel it like grainy and stuff. I would make sure I almost put the most effort into the first line because I would sit there and break it all up into a thin powder um, and not have to, to get to the point where you just want to get it up your nose. So I take more time cutting it all up, putting it into that line, just be almost obsessed and, and glorify this line. This is how you know you're sick as an addict. I mean, you're glorifying a line of Coke. Uh, feeling it going down my nose and then as soon as it would go down I feel it into my throat and it going into my lungs it was like it was like my lungs got filled with life and I remember it would go instantly happy instant dopamine rush instantly happy uh, I could feel the drip start to kick in a little bit um, and I'd start you know you're snorting it back all up um, the, the, the aftertaste in your mouth that kerosene is like gasoline chlorine whatever taste in your mouth it's a unique taste um, you know, your eyes open up, you're just filled with motivation, filled with energy, just filled with like, you know, out of the movie 300, like this is Sparta, we're going to take on the world. Uh, and this high would last for maybe 10 minutes. And some of that was probably even a placebo high. The thing was, is, is for a while, I would only do that for one line. But because I became so obsessed with this drug, that first line, I would maybe enjoy it for a minute, two minutes in my car, just sitting there sniffling up, listening to music, thinking I'm fucking the shit and like I'm on top of the world and look how successful I am. And then I would lay out two, three, four more lines. And then I would do those lines and each line is about this big to the point where I'm almost, you're, you're kind of gacking at the last one. You're like, you know, you can feel it just kind of clamming up into your throat. The dry mouth is starting to kick in. I'm slamming Red Bulls at the same time, starting to sweat. Getting to the point where you can't even control your, your language or your vocabulary and you're just going on at like random speeds, just kind of starting to get paranoid because people are pulling into the parking garage around me, making sure that no one's pulling in next to me because I got to protect this addiction. Um, but it was this whole thing that I assessed about and it was that just instant high hit my brain and now I can take on the world sick obsession. I mean, that's what that first line was like. It was like literally the sick obsession starting. Um, and it was, it's truly a sickness. I believe that addiction is a sickness. Um, and that you got, I mean, one day you're either going to wake up sober or you're going to wake up dead and well, you're sober underground, um, because you become so obsessed with it. It became fun until it wasn't fun anymore. And it's this party drug where you're doing it around with all these people until you're not doing it with anybody and you're alone, empty car in a parking garage doing line after line by yourself. I mean, that is addiction. And if you are out there struggling, I mean, my heart goes out to you. The best thing I could say is reach out, ask everybody for help. I got links to NA and AA down below. And it just starts with just telling people, dude, I'm an addict. I need help. I mean, hit the like and comment button. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. I share a lot of videos just about my experiences. Comment down below because that's the thing is with an addict. Hearing other stories, being able to relate to other stories, seeing other people get sober, you're like, dude, if they can do it, I can do it. And that's what it's all about. None of us are special. We just decided one day that we were tired of the insanity and started pushing forward. So if you are out there struggling, 
you can do this, but it starts with you wanting it. And when you want to be sober more than anything else, you're going to get it. And it's a fight. Sometimes it's a minute by a minute. Some days it's one day at a time and some days it's one hour at a time. But whatever it is, don't ever give up because it does get better.